footage here, we want to say, we want to check if the form has been posted. Because right now, if we come to this page, it actually does this error checking and then redirects us instantly to the page. That's not what we want. So we're going to say if dollar underscore post. And basically what that means is if we have visited this page because a form has been posted, now do the error checking and then redirect us to the success page depending on whether um, a form has been posted. So now if we run this, we actually have these um, form being displayed here. So when we submit now, what's going to happen is it's going to say if post and then that will be true and then now it will do this check. In this case, the errors array has nothing in it. So when it checks that its length is zero, it will succeed. That means error checking has passed and it will redirect us to success.php. Now let's post now with an empty field. Remember, we're not doing any validation right now, so it should pass. So when we submit, we go to success, well done page, basically, if you see in the URL here. Okay, so now that that's confirmed, let's actually go ahead now and actually start doing our validation. So in this area here, we're going to check the first field. We're going to say if dollar underscore post, um, the first field in our form, which is first name, if it's um, empty so there's a PHP function called empty see here so we're gonna call empty and then pass it the first name dollar underscore post sorry about that Just erased that by mistake if it's empty add a field in the errors array which um, corresponds to this field being empty here so how we do that is we're going to say errors and then we're going to say first name one equal to so that the, um, the message for our validation will be your first name it can be anything but let's just keep it simple here your first name cannot be empty all right so let's go ahead and do that for every field all right so we check if this last name as well it's not empty so we say dollar underscore post last name if it's empty we actually add another errors error in the errors array we call it last name one okay so the message for that one will be your last name cannot be empty okay all right so we'll go ahead and do that for the email field as well empty dollar underscore post email if email is empty we say errors array email one go to email cannot be empty and the reason guys I'm actually naming these last name one here and first name one is because when we we actually doing the check for being empty so if we do the check for at least a character of length six we actually be going to be doing something like errors in brackets and we'll say email two so email one is for the empty checking and email two will be for um, the length checking so in this case we'll first do the empty checking so last but not the least let's check if the password is not empty so if dollar underscore post password okay so we'll actually pass that in an empty function All right. so if password is empty um, we'll add a, a key in the errors array saying password one so that should be password cannot be empty Okay, so now let's go ahead and then try that in our form. All right, we'll run it and here we are. So if we submit right now, nothing happens because we are not outputting our errors.